Nationals are the Stanley Cup champions. And the Pittsburgh Penguins have won the Stanley Cup. Gretzky has got it up high. The Penguins have won it. The St. Louis Blues are headed to the Stanley Cup Finals. Let's start with Duke around. He's played 20 games this playoff season. He's won 14 of them. It would be very easy to make the argument that Duke Rask is the most impactful player this playoff season for the Boston Bruins. On the other side of it, Jordan Bennington played 32 minutes in game three, five goals on 19 shots. The buzzword around St. Louis, resilient. We'll find out how resilient he's going to be here in game four, Doc. You saw Oscar Sundquist close up. He is back from suspension. Robbie Fabry comes out. The fourth line of the Blues starts again. The first line of the Bruins, the scoring prominent line, the perfection line. They're going back there for a wrister by Vince Dunn that is set away right for the next two. Great save right before this goal. Shot from the point, redirected by Sanford, and then the wraparound from Ryan O'Reilly. O'Reilly won the faceoff to start the whole play, and Rass not able to reach over with that left leg. You love how quick Vince Stunt put that puck on goal. Yeah, it's going crazy like a knuckleball. And Ryan O'Reilly, who had a real tough game number three, shows up to start for game four here. And rolled on around, but right to Pareko, who keeps play moving for St. Louis. Pareko able to step away, got it on the back. Sanford has shot, scrambled in front there, but the puck is underneath to Garaz. Good idea there from Sanford just to get the puck to the net. And if you're the Blues right now, you want to skate away from any of this. A little trouble with the inadvertent checking of the linesman, and so it's turned over to Bruins for a toss back in and around by Charlie Coyle. Puck came loose, fed out in front, oh, and Johansson with a shot that went wild. Curled on back now, Bo Meester rushes back in. Bo Meester head up, works it along the Sundquist, behind the Bo Meester. Head one on out, and a shot by Barbershop is fought off by Brad. Popping it to the corner, moving in is Carlo, after him Sanford, they cross up. Sanford nudged it around behind. Puck out in front, here's Perron, trying to back in one off of Rad. A slid back out by Sanford. But it's directed back by Krejci, and again McAvoy connects with Chara. Slides one on ahead to Heinen. Heinen alone right now, but his team is changing. Regathers reinforcements, and now it's Chara marching on, and a shot save. Rebound, score! And it's Charlie Coyle! And the game is tied! Charlie Coyle's as hot as any player in the Stanley Cup final. Benton Heinen's going to take a hit to make a play. Shen comes in, lowers the boom, they keep the play alive. Charlie Coyle going to hang out the corner, into the front of the net, and he does. It'll take that Chara shot and put it by Jordan Bennington to tie the game up. Second chance opportunity. Bennington makes a good save off the initial shot from Chara that is redirected by Coyle, but a quick little push. Get it past the left leg. And Charlie Coyle ties this game up. Good. Marshawn able to enter the zone. Puts on the brakes. And that's one back. Kylo a shot of that grab. But his shot was from outside the line. Heinen got it across. But that one was slowed down enough by Pareko that it is playing. Slipping it further. And then it's dropped back on now for Brave to Shen. Shen dropped one further. It came all the way back now for Capretulous. And it's Well, Pierre mentioned it. Jaden Schwartz here. Looks like Clifton's going to get it, but not so fast. Petrangelo's second chance opportunity. And Tarasenko puts it to the back of the net. Shots on goal in this period already, all from the Bruins. As here's a shot by Shen. Oh, and that foul, Tara, who is down. Right off 
the stick and ramped up right into his face. Shen with the release. Chara turned the puck over. Shen on the attack. And that got him up high and hard off his own stick. And you see he's leaking. He will need major repairs. Donnie Del Negro getting him right off the ice. Chara tried to move the puck through the middle. Shen intercepted. Watch it ramp right off his stick and right up into the face of Chara. Yeah, the last time the Bruins went down to five defensemen, Eddie and Doc was game two. That's when Matt Grizzlick got knocked out by Sunquist. You know what happens when they're down to five, they just get more physical. Angled on back, tapped away from Krug, carried up by O'Reilly. O'Reilly in the middle. Scored, 
In the last 10-22, the Blues held the Bruins to one shot on goal.